On a warm July day in 1967, government officials, college administrators, and the community that was instrumental in establishing BGSU Firelands gathered for a groundbreaking, which would begin the construction process. That historic day has its roots in the early 1960s, when then-Governor James Rhodes declared his intent to establish a college campus within 30 miles of every Ohio resident. His promise, however, came with a stipulation. Any community that desired a campus would be required to raise 25% of the funds needed to build the college. Eager to embrace the call to offer higher education to more Ohioans, Firelands area leaders immediately formed the Committee on Educational Development, or COED, to lead a development effort with Dr. Richard Jeffrey, a Sandusky dentist named the chairman. The community rallied around the provision provided by the COED, and in less than two months raised the funds necessary. When the campaign was completed, more than $1.1 million had been raised, $460,000 more than was necessary. Dr. Jeffrey extended credit to the community for their efforts. He said, the people of Erie, Huron, and Ottawa counties are to be congratulated. From the founding fellows who gave $1,000 or more to the 22 cent donations received on the house to house canvas, each has a personal investment in the future of this university center. Bowling Green State University offered to administer the new college, and approval came from the BGSU Board of Trustees during a meeting on November 19, 1965. These words from BGSU President Dr. William Jerome during the groundbreaking ceremony clearly demonstrate the excitement and expectations for the new campus. And I'm referring to the importance of an academic institution to any community that investment in a branch like this, an investment in a good university today, is, is exactly that. It's a mean of, means of improving your capital. It's a means of bringing economic uh, vitality, cultural vitality to communities. So even though we are talking of the first two years, and this is essentially the meaning of the branch, it is going to mean much more than this to you. It's going to mean that you have a center where many of the leaders of the community can work with leaders from education and do a great deal in bringing new vitality, new directions to this whole community. Possible names for the new campus were solicited from the public and co-ed eventually chose the Firelands campus of Bowling Green State University in light of the historical significance of the Firelands area. Plans were made to build a single building, but were later altered and construction of two buildings began. The buildings were simply named East Building, later renamed Foundation Hall, and West Building, which was rededicated and renamed in 2014 in honor of BGSU alumni and longtime local educator, Dr. George Mylander. The new campus was led by Dr. James McBride, who became the first dean of the college and one of the most iconic individuals in the history of BGSU Firelands. Dr. McBride led the campus through its formative early years and two major construction phases. Of course, McBride was not alone in his efforts to make the new campus a success. He was joined by a diverse group of faculty and staff members, some of them still graduate students on the BGSU campus. There were 15 full-time faculty members, including Joseph Crowder, Assistant Professor of Political Science, Julius Kozan, Instructor of Art, and Joel Ruttinger, Instructor of English. 600 students were waiting for the doors to open on September 25, 1968, with 49 classes offered. The students could take their first two years of study to receive degrees from the College of Liberal Arts, Business Administration, or Education. There were also plenty of extracurricular activities. With humble beginnings, the Firelands men's basketball team won the regional championship for branch campuses in 1973. As the team grew, so did Firelands. The North Building opened in 1972 with a full-size gymnasium, a 300-seat auditorium, and a lounge that would affectionately come to be called the Pit. 
Student growth continued, and in 1976, the BGSU Board of Trustees identified BGSU Firelands as one of the five undergraduate colleges of Bowling Green State University. The first commencement on the campus was in 1986. Bruce Langen, one of the U.S. diplomats held hostage by Iranian revolutionists for 440 days, beginning in 1979 and ending in 1981, addressed a group of enthusiastic degree candidates. Thousands of graduates have passed through the halls of BGSU Firelands. Graduates have become worldwide business leaders, politicians, awarded philanthropists, medical experts, and community leaders. Major change came to the campus in 1988, when 47 acres of unused land were transformed into the James H. McBride Arboretum. Flowering crabapple trees, the William J. Parker Lake, and the Deering Family Terrace make this a fragrant and breathtaking paradise. In the early 90s, complete bachelor's degree programs became available and student enrollment surged. Plans were made to build a university center with state-of-the-art classrooms and features that would allow greater community access. An ambitious fundraising campaign got underway, and by the year 2000, two and a half million dollars had been raised. The Cedar Poinsettia, named for the Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, which donated a million dollars to the project, features a 40-foot high glass atrium that stands as a beacon for the community in the region. The center is host to more than 100 community events and meetings each year, and it features distance learning facilities for both students and faculty. Ground was broken in 2014 for the Allied Health and Sciences Project. This $16 million facility will house modern labs for students seeking degrees in the burgeoning field of healthcare. It has been 50 years since the BGSU Firelands campus was first envisioned, and the community leaders would no doubt be as proud of today's campus as the current leadership of the university. For the quality of education and the price of the education, you find you walk out of here with a BGSU degree that can take you any place in the world. BGSU Firelands now serves a community which spans nearly a dozen counties and hosts a diverse student body of 2,300. It is a center for intellectual pursuits and educational advancement, offering nine complete bachelor's degrees, 15 associate degrees, and several one-year certificate programs. The college also collaborates with local school districts to offer programs to younger students and provides an elder college program for those over the age of 55. BGSU Firelands has truly become a campus of the community.